इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम एन एस डेट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव और यू आर एक्सप्लोरिंग वेदर एस डेट रोल इज फॉर यू और नॉट देन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू विद सेवन स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसेस यूजिंग विच यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यू नीड टू लर्न एंड वेदर दिस पर्टिकुलर रोल इज फॉर यू और नॉट सो आई विल टेक यू थ्रू स्टेप वन टू स्टेप सेवन वेर आई विल गाइड यू वॉट ऑल डिफरेंट थिंग्स आर देयर विच यू नीड टू लर्न इन ईच स्टेप एंड ऑल्सो स्टेप सेवन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इन द एरा ऑफ ए आई वेर ए आई इज एवरीवेर एंड ईच रोल डिमांड टू हैव ए आई स्किल्स स्टेप सेवन इज डेडिकेटेडली फॉर ए आई रिलेटेड थिंग्स वॉट यू नीड टू लर्न इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम ए आई रेडी as that so before i share the plan if you are new to the channel please make sure to subscribe because i share all the content related to software testing it industry and ai in software testing so please don't forget to subscribe the channel so let's start with the step 1 step 1 says that core programming you need to learn so in here basically you need to understand any particular programming language so java python dot net or java script you can choose any particular language and in here you need not to learn everything believe me you need not to learn everything java is so vast python is so vast and other languages are so vast you just have to focus on core programming uh, things so for example data types variables loops and conditions uh, you know conditions functions and recursions how to use this object oriented programming and exception handling like this there are core programming fundamentals are there so you have to focus on those core programming fundamentals only now move ahead with step 2 which is software testing fundamentals now since you are going to become an sdet which is software development engineer in test that means you also have to learn testing fundamentals nowadays people are saying that manual testing is dead and manual things are not going to survive but that is not true you have to know the manual testing or fundamentals of testing also so in that case you must be aware with software testing fundamentals so i have mentioned in step 2 software testing fundamentals manual testing basics actually you need to understand how to design test case what are different techniques to design the test case at least you should be aware of these things because if you know then only you can use other things like ai also to design this but if you don't know then how are you going to tell ai to generate these things okay so another thing you have to explore different you know testing things like how to test apis what are the different ways to explore uh, like tools are there what are tools are there so api testing how to do the apis uh, testing using postman rest graphql so all of these tools are there using which we do api testing then what about database testing how to write sql queries okay so all of those things basic sql query queries also you should be aware of then what are different you know things in performance and security testing so you should be knowing the basics of this performance and security testing because it is very much important but at the same time you are uh you know um, it is not required to learn everything in performance and security testing unless you are just going for those specific roles okay but at the same time you should be aware what are these and how to test this okay what are different tools also you should be aware about now step 3 is about test automation so how to automate since in step 2 we learned about manual testing basics and what are different techniques using which we test in step 3 we are going to learn more about test automation how to automate the testing you know uh, so there are different uh, tools to automate different things like you for ui automation we have uh, selenium web driver playwright and cypress these are also helpful for uh, doing automation of any browsers also uh, playwright and cypress can also help you with other type of testing like api test automation also what are the different tools like rest assured you do automation on so for mobile testing you are going to use apm as a tool performance and security automation so how to do test automation and all those things you know uh, selenium web driver playwright and cypress how these works you need not to learn each and everything but you are going to use this uh, you know uh, either of uh, these tools you have to choose and then start automating it so basically first thing you have to understand the fundamentals how to automate the things 
what is the different steps to automate so and then you need to choose the particular uh, ui automation tool or automation tool if you are going to automate ui or api based on that you have to select the tool and then the uh, you have to do the automation now step four is data structures and algorithms so basically you have to understand uh, array and strings you also have to understand how string manipulation works you know you have to understand how collections different types of collections work so how to add update delete and retrieve all those crud operations in the data structures and algorithms actually you need to learn okay so you also must be aware about recursion how to do debugging backtracking all of these things you have to understand basically you need not to learn everything i'll tell you uh, array strings hash map and sets uh, all of these things you should be aware about stacks and queues again it is not very much used but uh, it is good to have knowledge about this also recursion is also very uh, important uh, you know concept in data structures and uh, algorithms but you should understand all these concepts also okay then step five is related to the devops and ci cd so what is ci cd basically ci cd simply means continuous integration and continuous delivery so as and when your build is you know you are working on certain code and you are checking in uh, the code into the remote repository like github then automatically your test should get started okay test execution should get started so that's what is ci cd basically continuous uh, integration and continuous delivery in you know in this particular step you need to understand the basics of git so what is git basically git is a version control uh, system using which you are you know you are checking in your code in a repository which is like uh, github so github is a remote repository and git is a software you know uh, which is used for local uh, version controlling thing so in this case again uh, you have to use you need to understand how jenkins works and github actions is similar to the jenkins only but you need to understand the basic concepts about jenkins and or github actions also you need to understand about how docker uh, works basically so just basics not uh, you know very much uh, about uh, docker or kubernetes in deep you need not to understand just understand the concepts and then you know aws or azure uh, for sdets that is also you know required you must be overwhelming you must be you know getting overwhelmed i need to learn all of this no you need not to you know but if i am sharing the step by step process i must tell you what are different things in each step which you should be aware about if you don't know about these things then how are you going to eventually learn so there is a step by step process so you must be aware about those things so that's what i am telling it over here devops and ci cd actually comes into uh, some advanced things but uh, you know jenkins docker and kubernetes this is uh, basic but uh, you need to be uh, uh, learning this comes in advanced uh, format so okay so in step 5 basically in devops you should be understanding about git and github how it works jenkins or github actions how these works how to deploy your code directly uh, into the jenkins pipeline how to create jenkins pipelines actually you need to understand and also docker and kubernetes basics basically okay so you should be understanding the basics of these things how aws works or azure works uh, and specifically for sdets so you need to you must understand how these works also so if you are with me till this point please make sure to like the video if you are liking the content and i am just going to share step 7 which is more related to ai things you should learn if you wanted to become sdet in 2025 also so now in step six basically you should be preparing about coding interview practice so just learning all of these things are not going to help so you need to prepare about uh, interview also so here at least you should be solving 100 coding problems and uh, you know not system design basics but framework designs okay so if you are going to use any particular framework like uh, what is tdd what is bdd all of these things and you must be 
aware about framework designing basics also and you should be aware how to design a framework also uh, you should be aware how to or take you should take uh, some mock interviews also and resume also you uh, should be aware how to prepare resumes if you have any doubt or you want me to help you on any queries you have then you can schedule a call with me link in the description or you can join channel membership and you can ask any questions you have during this journey now step 7 is related to ai basics for sjets so if you understand generative ai how chat gpt gemini or cloud works basically any of these is going to help you so uh, this is going to help you you know uh, creating the uh, manual test cases or any questions you have a uh, chat gpt or gemini or these tools are going to help you basically you should be understanding how generative ai actually works you need to understand prompt engineering so that you know you can get a relevant answer from this chat gpt or any tools ai tools basically also you should be exploring ai testing tools like th there are different uh, tools are there test trigger test aim functionize so i have also created dedicated videos on these tools so you can go and check out these videos also if you wanted to learn about ai testing tools and how these ai tools work you can go and check out also so you can also understand how to automate test cases generation bug summarization basically so if you use chat gpt just chat gpt then you should be understanding how to use prompts different prompts so that you can also use uh, you know uh, it for automating test cases generation and creating code for you and then you should be practicing using ai for test planning documentation test case generation and bug summarization basically all the tasks which any particular manual testers or automation testers are doing you should be understanding how to do it using ai that was all in this particular video so if you want this roadmap you can go and check out into the description and you can get from there also if you have any question or query you can join my channel membership and from there you can ask any questions also and if you have a specific questions you can schedule a call with me also link in the description and if you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel also if you want me to cover any different topics i have mentioned in this particular video comment in the comment box and i am going to create videos on those topics as well and do share this video to your friends. See you in the next one.